just like to talk a little bit about polishing and cleaning equipment. Uh, first thing we've got in front of us here, bench grinder. Okay, just a normal eight inch bench grinder. Used to have two of these wheels on the side, two of the stone wheels. But I've taken one housing off on the wheel and put an extended spindle with um, non-woven mops. Get these from Heritage Abrasives. These are like gold. They cannot get a better thing for polishing in the UK. So cheap, so these things. And then this spindle here just unscrews. And I've got a coarse mop on at the minute. Then put a medium mop on and finally a fine mop and I'll um, be done. Stone grinding wheel is great for taking off big lumps. These are good for doing the polishing, but they don't take out, they won't take out nicks and dings and they won't take out um, the flat spots from planishing. So for the, the first pass over polish, I use an angle grinder with 125 grit flap disc on it. Now these flap discs are just cheap ones I bought off eBay. Do the job, we're not having to polish high surfaces uh, large surfaces, we're not having to polish them to a high finish. Just my first stage polishing to take the um, the oxides off and the um, even out with the um, the flat spots for planishing. This is another fantastic tool. This is a Black & Decker power file. You see it's got a 13 millimeter wide um, belt on it that I can poke into the uh, into the inside of the knees and clean off those welds that I've made. Um, this is a multi-step process, which is uh, like all of these things is worthwhile doing carefully. Now I'm going to start off by um, just grinding down the extra weld metal that's on the front of this um, knee cop, and then I'm going to use that the bench grinder for that. Now I've got to be quite careful because this is an aggressive grinder. I don't want to be taking too much metal off, so I'm going to take this near to the surface level of the, the smoother bit of metal you can see there. Then I'll move on to using the angle grade. So this is the first stage completed. I'm going to move on to using the angle grinder with a flap disc on it to uh, clean up. But we're going to start using the polishing mops on the side of the bench grinder. Now, this is a great tool, but it is really dangerous. As you can see, it's completely unguarded. So um, technically, I can touch my bit of work on it anywhere, but it spins in this direction. Okay, so it's spinning towards me. Now, what this tends to do is if you catch an edge on it, it will catch that edge and fling this at high speed. Um, now, if that is sharp or hot or some combination of the above, you know, a serious potential for injury to yourself. So the trick with these things is you always, you always put your piece on below the um, three o'clock line. And then that way, what you're actually doing is touching it on the thing as, as it goes, as it goes backwards. So if it does catch an edge, then basically it goes that way into the bench rather than into you. There is an amusing story about a, a young apprentice polishing a large um, bassinet and uh, ejected it 
into his nether regions, not once but twice in one session until his um, workshop owner took it off him and made him go and do something else. So, safety tip. Now when I'm actually using the polishing mops, what I'll be doing, I'll have gloves and ears on and, uh, and eye protection, is I'm gently, gently just moving this backwards and forwards because um, the action of the polishing mop depends on the rotation speed and the contact time with the metal. So if I'm moving it backwards and forwards like this, it's not really doing anything. So a nice gentle backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, stop and have a look is the correct techniques.